Hello viewers, today we are going to learn 10 difference between organic and inorganic compounds. So let's get started. First, we'll compare composition. This is organic compound and this is inorganic compound. So organic compounds must contain carbon and any one or more elements like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, halogen, sulfur, phosphorus, etc. Example, methane, methanol. In case of inorganic compound, inorganic compounds may form with one with any two or more elements. No particular element is essential for inorganic compound. Example, water, potassium trichloride, phosphorus trichloride, sorry. Bonding. Generally, organic compounds are formed by covalent bonding. For example, this is methane and every bond in this molecule is covalent bond. On the other hand, inorganic compound on the other hand, inorganic compounds are formed by both ionic and covalent bonding. Here sodium in sodium chloride where we see that uh, it has uh, ionic bond on the other hand uh, acl and water we see covalent bond our third point is melting and boiling points right so in case of organic compound melting and boiling points of organic compounds are low and generally below 350 degrees celsius example melting point of benzoic acid is 121 degrees celsius which is below 350 degrees celsius in case of inorganic compound melting and boiling points of inorganic compounds are higher and generally above 700 degrees celsius example melting point of sodium chloride is 8, 815 degrees celsius which is higher than 700 degrees celsius solubility Organic compounds being non-polar are insoluble in polar solvent water but soluble in organic solvent like ether and benzene. Example, hexane is soluble in benzene but hexane is not soluble in water. Inorganic compounds being ionic or polar are soluble in polar solvent water, polar solvent like uh, water, but insoluble in organic solvents. Example, sodium chloride is soluble in water but insoluble in benzene. Ignition. Organic compounds are generally combustible and leave no residue after burning. Here is the example. There is no burning. There is no residue. Everything will be finished. Inorganic compounds are non-combustible and leave residue if they burn. Like zinc sulfide plus oxygen zinc oxide plus sulfur dioxide conductivity 
organic compounds do not form ions in melt or in solution so they can conduct electricity on the other hand inorganic ionic compounds like sodium chloride in molten state and in solution form opposite ions and conduct electricity isomerism isomerism is common in organic compounds example c2h6o forms two isomers one is ethanol and another is diethyl ether well in case of inorganic compounds isomerism in organic compounds is not found polymerization polymerization is found in organic compounds you see that methylene this is methylene and we are getting uh, this is ethylene right and we are getting polythene by adding a lot of ethylene molecule polymerization is not generally found in inorganic compounds catenation due to catenation carbon can form chain and ring structure compounds so about 80 lux organic compounds are present present on the other hand in inorganic compound there is no element like carbon to form catenated carb uh, compounds and so the number of inorganic compounds is about one lakh can you think eight lakh in case of organic compound and one lakh in in case of inorganic compound homologous series with functional groups organic compounds can be classified into some homologous series with common formula and functional group like this is uh, alcohol this is aldehyde this is acid carboxylic acid no such in case of inorganic compound no such classification is possible with the inorganic compounds showing common properties thank you for viewing this video be well